Hey, Kisara. Have you noticed how Xion... Seems to be grappling with something all by herself? Yeah. She's been acting differently around us ever since we rescued her. The same towards Alfin, too. Now that Alfin's regained his memories and his sense of pain, maybe she's become more self-conscious that she still has her thorns. In which case, it makes sense that she'd be feeling out of sorts. But I can't help but think there's something else, too. You're wondering if there's anything you can do to help her. Xi'an said something to me once. Something that helped me move forward. So I'd like to return the favor and do that for her, too. The only problem is, even if I did have the chance to talk to her, I don't know what I could say that would help. Xi'an's dealing with a lot right now. Maybe more than she can handle. Trying to unravel the threads of her own worries? That's challenge enough itself. Not to mention that trying to wade in blindly would probably end up making things even worse than they already are. But... how do we help her then? For the time being, I think all we can do is be patient and keep an eye on her. That way, when she's finally ready to let us in, we'll be right there to lend her a shoulder. I hope you're right. So if Volron is the Lord of the Water Realm, then it's probably safe to say he has some water abilities tucked up his sleeve. He and Alfin couldn't be any more different. It's like they were practically born to be rivals. Looking back on it, in both of our previous encounters, he's only ever fought us with his sword. We haven't seen what else he's capable of. And yet, even with only his blade, he still managed to overwhelm us. He's a force to be reckoned with. That much is certain. Yeah, that guy is seriously bad news. <laughs> It'll be okay, Hoodle. We'll get through this. <sighs> Shion? It's nothing. Let's keep moving. This area is the grandest looking of the lot, and not a single soldier in sight. So probably the place. This is it, everyone. We can't let Voron treat people's lives like toys any longer. We need to put an end to his tyranny here and now. Everyone ready? Ready. We've come this far. Without question. I'm nervous, but I know what needs to be done.
We've come for you, Volron! <laughs> Did you really come all this way, just so I could take you back over his dead body? Bastard! <clears throat> he dismissed them? He must not think he needs them to defeat us. <laughs> Why have you been coming after me? Isn't it your ambition to become the winner of the crown contest? My ambition, you say? I have no ambitions. Since the beginning, everything was mine to control. Everything, including your life! I'm happy to be you. What the hell is that supposed to mean? A lonely one in the grave is all the better than shut down the deserve. And yet, it wasn't without regret that I watched you sink beneath those waves. Now, I get to savor carving the life of your body myself. So all this... Here, Reiki let me help! Demon I never miss! 
Now you see what I can do. Double team and fast. Time to go. Time to go. Time the enemy deals are too. We'll soon see about that. Now this is the joy of What's wrong? Now, are you ready to entertain me? Don't disappoint me by dying. Time to let it rip. Die. In here. Demon Fang. Take this. I'll be In safe. Work. Just like Hear that. My call. This Those one is mine. I can do this all day. Astral energy. Say no more. It's all over. Volron. Now put an end to that death procession you're holding outside. Right now! <laughs> you think this is over? What? Who do you think you are? <laughs> No, that's... How can this be? If Alvin's the Sovereign, how is it possible that Volron has that crest as well? And if Volron's the Sovereign, then what was the point of the Crown Contest? After everything we've witnessed, it would seem the whole thing is a ruse. Flare the 
I think so. There. We finally collected all of the Master Cores. So what do we do now? It is said that bringing all the Master Cores together in one place should form the Renes Alma. So, now we put Xion's with the rest. With that, we can finally free her of her thorns. going on? Are we missing something? We can't be. So why isn't it? Alfin! Behind you! Alma's only supposed to consist of the five Ganon elements. Just what do you think you're doing? Disappeared? What in the world just happened? Is it over? No. It's only just begun.
A month has passed. For the time being, we decided to stay put in Ganeth Haros. Even with their lord toppled, we had a long way to go before the people of Pelegion would be liberated in their hearts and minds. Lenigus hung ominously over our heads. We knew we'd need to deal with it sooner or later. We still had so many questions. The two sovereigns, the Red Woman and the Renis Alma. The present and past 300 years ago. Not to mention what happened to Volron's body after his defeat. Still, we were determined to keep fighting. I had my hands full taking care of everything. But in some ways I was kind of grateful to be so busy. Are you all right? You looked like you were spacing out there. Y yeah, I'm fine. Sorry. You need something? It's about that citizen's petition. I was coming to talk to you about it. If I'm being honest, I think the problems of this realm's Danans hit close to home for me. Oh? You saw how things were in Menencia. We might have put way too much faith in Dohalim, but at least we could still think independently. The people of this realm weren't even afforded that much basic dignity. I don't know what kind of future the people here are going to ultimately choose, but whatever it is they decide, I want to help do my part so they can make that decision of their own free will. You mean like how the Danans and Renans of Menencia chose to remain committed to coexistence? It'd be nice if this was a step towards that dream. That's another issue altogether. At the very least, I want to believe all our hard work will pay off in the end. Yeah. I guess we can only focus on what we can do right now and take it from there. I'm going to go on ahead. Would you mind talking to Xion for me? Once you're ready, we'll meet up at the castle entrance like usual. We can talk more there. Right, got it. Observatory a lot lately. Let's see if she's up there.
Is something going on? Sounds like it. Kisara wants us all to meet at the castle entrance. Taking in the view again? Yeah. Looking at the scenery helps take my mind off things. Like what? Being a maiden. Whether I really am a descendant of Naori. Those kinds of things. So, are you mad at me? For what? I destroyed the Renaissance. Right as you were about to get rid of your thorns forever. Why did you destroy it? When I saw it appear in front of me, it reminded me of what happened back on Lenegas. And the rest was... It was all just a blur. I'm sorry. It must have been a pretty terrible memory. Besides, we don't know that the Renes Alma actually was destroyed. For all we know, it might have disappeared with that red woman. If so, then why don't. are you... Don't! <laughs> it's okay. You brought me back. You got me away from Volron. That's enough for now. <sighs> Let's get going. We shouldn't keep everyone waiting. Hey, Shion, I... Don't. I... Okay. I... I'm sorry. But if you come any closer, you'll only end up getting hurt. Because of your thorns, you mean? Trust me, I've endured... No, that's not it. You don't understand, I... <sighs> Never mind. Sorry, just forget I said anything, okay? If it isn't your thorns, does that mean there's something else? It's just... <sighs> it's nothing, really, okay? So you can stop asking me. I... <sighs> okay. In that case, I... I'll see you up ahead, okay?
Oh, it's you two. I suppose that makes me the last one, then. We better get a move on, or else we'll never hear the end of it from Kisara. Right you are. A month has passed since we vanquished Volron. I would have thought that the Renans on Lenigus would have made their move by now. Yet they still remain as silent as ever. We have no idea what happened to Volron's body, nor its whereabouts. The Red Woman also has yet to reappear, for that matter. And contrary to what I had heard, when the Renis Alma formed, not five, but six elements were present, with darkness constituting the sixth and final Master Core. Were either of you aware of this? You mean about the Renis Alma? Of course not. Same. I had no idea a Darkness Master Core even existed. What about Xion's Maiden powers? No. That was the first I learned about that, too. Or anything about having that power. Me too. I remember thinking the same thing. What could it all mean, I wonder? There are so many questions with too few answers. Particularly when it comes to that Red Woman and her abilities. Were it any other ability that used astral energy, I'd say it was an astral art. But hers was... different. Speaking of astral energy, we also mustn't forget that while the other Master Cores disappeared when forming the Renis Alma, for some reason the Fire Master Core remained. It may well have been the work of your maidenly powers. Alfin, are you still able to wield the Blazing Sword as before? For now, at least. And Renis Alma sucked most of the energy out of the Fire Master Core, but it still has enough for me to use the sword. And the sword is safe inside of me for the time being. Good. At least that's one thing we needn't concern ourselves over. You can say that again. We have more than enough to deal with as it is. Let's go. Hey, wait up! I heard we are all to meet at the castle entrance. This is Ganya, who has a problem he needs help with. I was just about to ask him what that problem is. All right, then. Well, tell us what's on your mind, Ganya. I'm hungry. You're hungry? I did Are they no, no, uh, Oh, right. So you have your rations. I'm hungry. Yeah. Do your rations take... I don't know. What's that supposed to I haven't eaten them. Wait. If you're not bringing them into the... What? Why? Wait. Everyone in my group is doing it. I don't know who told us to do it. They I'm guessing none of us told them. I was afraid that something... The people in this capital are slowly regaining their own wills. But not everybody is getting them back at the same rate. Are you saying someone who got their will back sooner might be taking rations? Definitely. This is something we can't ignore. It seems like the people here still tend to blindly follow any orders they're given. Hey, remind me, just what exactly are we all doing here? What do you mean? We're helping people, aren't we? Could have fooled me. Lately, it feels like everything we're doing ends up half-baked. <laughs> we liberated the people of Pelegian, but their hearts and minds are no less under the yoke than the day we found them. As for Volron's cronies, we have no idea where they scampered off to. You think I don't already know all that? We're doing everything we can, aren't we? We didn't choose to get stuck here. Sometimes you have to play the hand you're dealt. Besides, you've seen all the same things I have. You know as well as I do that deposing the Lords alone won't solve all the world's problems. Rinwell's right. We've gotten this far, haven't we? We can't just leave things unfinished now. I guess? I mean, I didn't think we'd be singing around the campfire as soon as the wall came down, but still. The fight isn't over just yet. At least not while Lenigus remains a threat. I'm just sick of all this waiting. If they're gonna invade, why don't they get a move on already? Stop that! Don't you think we've got enough problems as it is without you tempting fate? <laughs> Spot something? Hmm? Oh, no. Just wondering if I could see any armored guards. Armored guards? 
You mean Voron's soldiers? The moment we defeated their lord, all those guys bolted out of there. And not just out of the castle either, the city too. For better or worse, it was the guards who looked after the city's Danans. Without them, making Pelegian half habitable again has been one big headache. It's not like they were on their last legs. They could have chosen to stay and fight, but instead they ran away and disappeared without a trace. But without a lord to follow, they can't have any place to go. Unless... You don't think they went to Lenigus, do you? It's not completely out of the question. Though I'd say it's more likely they're biding their time somewhere, just waiting for the perfect moment to strike back at us. The people here in Pelegian are nowhere near ready to defend themselves. <sighs> Great. Another headache to worry about. Is it just me, or was today's dinner a little low on salt? I felt that it was seasoned perfectly, so as to bring out the flavor of the ingredients. Last taste buds are still like a kid, so if his food isn't rich enough, I bet he doesn't feel like he's eaten anything at all. Don't make fun of me! We all need salt in order to survive! He has a point. You do lose stamina if you don't get enough salt in your body. Yeah, I remember seeing people trying to lick the rocks back in Calaglia. What? Why would anybody do that? Sometimes you can find rocks out there that taste salty. They used to say it was because of all the tears we slaves shed. Most likely, that was actually rock salt that they found. When our provisions ran low, Megal would often bring some back for us to use. At the time, we used it because it's all we had. But now there's something hearty about rock salt I like. Even more than table salt. Is it possible, perhaps, to find any rock salt in these parts? It is. You have to know what you're looking for, but when I find any, I always break some up to refill our supply. The flavor even changes depending on what kind of terrain it comes from. Sometimes I end up collecting more than we need, just in case we like it. Wow, Kisara is really serious about her salt. You can always count on Kisara to be earnest. That's why we have to do our part and not add any more to her burden. Very well. Well... Hey. Pardon me. Doesn't seem that way. You must think we're just damning from the town. Whatever's going on, these are Bull Run soldiers. Watch yourself! 
You don't say. So then... I can't believe how quickly you got all those soldiers to obey you, Dohalim. Actually, they were abiding Ren in hierarchy, not me personally. Well, either way, it solved the problem and that's what counts. any more enemies. I've talked to the soldiers and made it clear that they are to remain in line. Things should stay calm for the time being. I know Renans tend to take authority extremely seriously, but you sure know how to throw your weight around as a former lord. I only managed to get through to them because Volron's curse is lifting, but not to the extent that they can act independently as of yet. Considering we had other matters to attend to for the past month, we should consider ourselves lucky that nothing occurred during our absence. But if they do start operating independently again, that's going to cause a whole new set of problems to deal with. Indeed. Ganeth Heros is unlike Menencia. 
Without intervention, they'll likely revert to oppressing the Danans as they were doing before. Meaning there's still a lot of work to be done in this realm. Not that there aren't problems among the Danans, too. Yes. There was no way to avoid the deep-seated conflicts that had festered here. But... I just hate that we had to use your position as a lord to solve the situation, Dohalim. Had I not intervened, yet more blood would have spilled here, and nobody wishes for that. <clears throat> so, what's going to happen to the Renans here now? Why do you ask? We've stripped the soldiers of their armor and locked them up. They can't hurt you guys anymore. I promise. So they're alive? They're... they're not going to die? What? Those people deceived us. They did terrible, terrible things to us. They made us suffer. Long before you guys came along. For years and years and years! It was constant! Never stopped. Not even for a day! So many people died! Our parents... Our children, our friends, they all died. They were murdered, and it was the Renans. The Renans were the ones who did it. They killed us. Why do they get to live after so many of us have died? The bastards should die. Every last one of them. I... I know how you feel, Ganya. I used to be a slave, and I hated the Renans just like you. I took up the blazing sword to bring them down. But along the way, I've met many people and seen many things. People refusing the hand life dealt them. People who have lost loved ones, but are still trying to make this world a better place. People driven by hate who stopped before it was too late. And those who couldn't and paid with their lives. And I fought plenty of people who were all too happy to make others suffer. Believe me. But after a while, I came to realize that it's not the Renans who are our true enemies. Then what the hell are we fighting if it's not them? We're fighting against anyone who tries to take what doesn't belong to them. But that's what these Renans are doing! How is that any different? Because I judge everyone by their own actions. That goes for Danans, too. Because at the end of the day, at the root of all evils committed is an individual who committed them. You're right, Alfin. It seems like people are either blaming an entire race for one individual's sins, or an individual for everyone else's mistakes. But all that does is add more hate in a world that's already full of it. I want to help create a society where people can finally stop suffering and move beyond their pain. But if we try to do that with more violence, then we'll just end up right back where we started in the first place. All right. Have it your way. I can't argue with the folks that helped us get back our ability to think and speak freely again. Is that to say you trust us, then? I don't trust the Renans as far as I can throw them. I trust you guys because of who you are and what you've done. Fair enough. We won't let you down, Ganya. <clears throat> What's the matter, Kisara? Is something wrong? Oh, no. Nothing. It's fine, really. I'm just a bit worried about what'll happen to all these folks. Right. It'll take time before they start thinking for themselves again. Indeed. That is part of it. However, what I'm even more worried about is what will happen to them after that. What do you think they're going to want once they realize how cruel Volron was to them? Probably revenge. <laughs> what happened to Ganeth Haros is the worst form of oppression we've seen. But treated cruelly or kindly, slaves will rise up. Lenigus aside, there are still remnants of Renan supremacists scattered throughout Dana. You mean all that trouble we went through to get rid of the Lords might just lead to more violence? That's the last thing I want to see happen. 
Of course not. And if we don't do something to prevent it all from starting up again, there could be even more bloodshed for us to regret. There's still a lot we don't know about the Renan rulers. Whatever the face of truth behind their veil, it's on us to put a stop to them. But there is one thing that's clear. Whatever we do to finally end it, our motives can't be getting back at the Renans, or it'll all be for nothing. So, what exactly is it that you're saying? That we should just act as if nothing happened? Law's right. We can't expect everyone to just forget all the pain they've endured up until now. Not so easily, at least. But we have to at least try to change course. We can't just keep allowing history to repeat itself like this. Exactly. Look, I won't deny that between the Crown Contest and 300 years of oppression, there's a lot of bad blood between the Danans and the Renans. But all these problems are just too big for us to try to carry the burden on our own. We'll keep doing our part in the interim, but we need to take this one battle at a time. We're done just yet. I want you all to stick around a little longer. There might still be people who need our help. When you think about it, thinking for yourself can be a heavy responsibility at times. Yeah, it's not like your mind will only ever think about good, happy things for one. Maybe so, but I'll still take that burden over living life as a puppet serving others. But I want to do everything I can to help these people. Huh? I think someone's calling out for us. They could have something they need from us. <laughs> well... Hey! <laughs> Got it! Huh? You going? Since when do I need your permission to move around? I wasn't saying that you do. So I'm not sure why you're biting my head off about it either. Oh, that's so typical of you. How can you be so relaxed about all this? At this very moment, the enemy is doing who knows what behind the scenes, and yet we're just sitting here twiddling our thumbs in Ganeth Harrow's. I know that, but our hands are tied right now. What do you want me to do? And what's gotten into you anyway? Is there something you want to say to me, Xion? Look, you're right. Forget I said anything. If I said something to hurt you, I'm sorry. But I honestly don't know what I said to upset you so much. I really wish you would tell me. You don't need to apologize. You didn't say anything. It's not your fault. It's not anyone's fault. Not really. Then why? Please just drop it. I don't want to talk about it. All right. If that's what you want, I won't push any further. I'm sorry. <sighs> it's fine. Just... don't be too hard on yourself, okay?
with people is helping to jog his memory bit by bit. You did good, Law. <laughs> Thanks. Stuck on that too? No, really. I kind of see where they're coming from. Are you okay? Hey, with anything as long as it's round and flies? Sorry. to rest as work. Because that's the way people were made to think about every aspect of their lives. I know she doesn't mean anything bad by it. I know that, but... It looks like she went out of town to take care of her son's body. That's a little concerning. There are Zoogles roaming around out there. We should follow after her.
Have you guys checked your equipment lately? You can never be too prepared, but did we ha have to spend and so much? Okay, off we go. Judging by the stench, I'd say the animals at the ranch are all grown now! Get lost! It's so far! Eat, sir! Can you take well, it? Eat, sir! I'm ready! ready. This one's mine! Try harder! Feel! My turn! Double demon fang! Ready to go! Take it. I'll smash you! Go to the I'm ready! ready. Look, Look sharp! Lightning Tiger Blade! Lightning I'll take you all off! Hear me! Take this! Illuminate the Double demon fang! Break your spear! Fear the evil! Now! This one's all mine! Freeze Lancer! Wow, look what I just found. Is the blazing sword okay? A little water's not going to hurt it. something a little unusual. I've got a really Don't bad feeling fight. about this. Armor won't save you. I can handle it. Take that raging death game. Radiant Not today. Me. Double demon Radiant fight. Fight. Here's Here's the the Now. This one's mine. Go time flat. I never Prepare to be Now. Double This one's got your name on it. Action to action. Oh, oh, 
Really something. I could say the same. I wonder just how many people have been saved by Xion. I won't forgive you! Dragon Hold on to your art! Here Don't I come! Anything in armor Let's is all mine! Radiant Hutt, Hutt. The flame inside me yours to be let free! Not today! Flying free? Why can't they just sit still? I think the Xion, enemy's getting can desperate. Can you take care of Gotham where we want them? Don't tip your hand, though. I can it as always. Thank you, Ray! In an instant! Impact cross! Dance right in the wind! Go! This one is mine! Here! I'll be saving this one! Easy peasy! Ha huh, hoodle!
I'm afraid not. I'm sorry. Rinwell. Huh? Whew. Hmm? That little speech you gave back there was pretty impressive, Alfin. If you call letting your emotions get the better... <sighs> Something's eating at you again, huh? I don't know if I would say that. I just... I mean... <sighs> Actually, I guess I do have one or two things on my mind. My people, we lived in hiding. So we never really experienced the full extent of Renan oppression. Not directly, anyway. After Almadria killed my mother and father, though, I... I guess that's when I started hating them so much. The Renans, I mean. But then I think of all those people who were born into slavery. The ones who never even got angry in the first place because it was all they ever knew. I hear you. Every city we've been to... It's the resistance that gets labeled the troublemakers for having the guts to do the right thing. When it comes down to it, sometimes I wonder which of us really has the better way. You can't let your anger eat away at you, Rinwell. But then again, losing your parents that way. Hell, who could really blame you for it if you did? <laughs> I guess what I'm trying to say is... Uh, sorry. Hell, it's hard putting this stuff into words. No, I get it. You're saying that grief and anger are different than hatred. I never thought of it like that. But hearing you say it, it makes sense. Thanks, Law. Uh, you're welcome? contact with it. Don't be easy. Don't be such a pessimist. 
Tremendously. 
The speed and precision of your aim is simply unmatched. I... I had no idea you were watching me so closely. I think we've helped these people just about as much as we can. They're going to need more long-term aid than we can provide on our own. You're right. We need to ask the other realms to send help, and fast. Another reason to hurry and find a way out of Ganeth Haros. Agreed. We'll start looking for a way out tomorrow. For now, we should spend the day resting up while we can. <laughs> <laughs> 